I'm going to show you a really simple method how to create some gold text. So first of all we want to get our canvas and you can do whatever size you want to show off your text. I'm going to do 300 by 150 and I'm going to leave my background contents at background color. Click OK. And I'm going to add my background color first of all, which isn't necessary, but it just makes my gold text stand out a little bit more. Go, to, go ahead and use my paint bucket tool. And then I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to choose kind of a brown color. And then click to fill it. More of a green color, that's okay. And then I'm going to use my text tool and I'm going to actually put the text. Now up here you're going to want to choose your font. You can choose whatever font you want to use. If you um, pick a font with thicker letters then the gold um, effect is going to show up a little bit more. But you can really go and choose whatever text you want. And then of course whatever size you want to use. And you can go back and change this. And for color, you want to choose a yellow, sort of a gold color. Um, I like to use F2F89A or something very similar to this color is going to give you a very nice gold color. Click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and center this. And I'm going to go over to the layer with my text on it so I can add some effects now. So go ahead and double click in the blank area. And this will bring up your layer style text box. The first thing I'm going to do is add a bevel and an emboss. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with an inner bevel, a smooth technique, depth 500, size 5, soften 0. For angle, I'm going to use 120. Um, I'm going to keep all these settings the same here just like how you see them. Now for highlight mode, I'm going to choose um, difference and make sure that your color is set to white. Your opacity leave it about 75%. Now for the shadow mode, I'm going to choose dark and I'm going to leave that at a black color and also 75%. Okay, so that's my um, shading for my bevel and emboss. I'm going to also add a drop shadow up here. And for my drop shadow, I'm going to choose a color burn blend mode. Going to keep the opacity at 75%. Keep the black color for my color burn. 120%. I'm going to go ahead and keep my distance at 5. All the other settings keep like this. Click the OK button and you get this very good um, cool gold effect that was developed pretty quickly.